Hi, my name is Selena. Do you know what surgery is? Surgery is when a doctor works inside your body while you're sleeping. It's a different kind of sleep. We'll get to that. I had surgery once. The doctor put ear tubes in my ear to help me hear better. You can't see them. They're really, really tiny. Now, your family has a special book to tell them about surgery for kids. But what about you? It can feel scary anytime you don't know what's going to happen. That's why I'm going to tell you the 10 things you need to know about having surgery. One! Food. You can't eat too close to your surgery time, so your mom or dad can give you a snack the night before. You see, during surgery, your whole body will take that special nap, including your stomach. So any food you eat needs to be out of there. After your surgery, you will get a special treat. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Two! Bring stuff you love. Your mom or dad will help you pack your favorite items. And that's good because before and after surgery, it will be good to have things to do and stuff to keep you busy. Sweet! On the day of your surgery, you arrive about an hour or so before surgery time to check in. So, if you have a special buddy, you can bring him along too. You know who else you'll bring to the hospital? Your parents. Three! Parents, cool. Your parents get to stay with you while you're getting ready for surgery. And when you wake up, they even get special stickers so everyone knows they're there for you. And that brings us to... Four! Get your band on. You'll get a hospital wristband, or two. Some kids might get two or three. It'll have your name and birthday on it. People who work in the hospital will check your wristband a lot while you're there. The nurse will check your weight and height. Then we'll take your temperature and check your blood pressure with that cuff that gives your arm a hug. Bye! Getting ready. Getting ready for surgery is a little like a doctor's appointment. Just like your doctor's office. You'll sit in a comfortable area until the team is ready for you to come back. When it's your turn, a nurse will take you and your parents to the get ready room. It's also called pre-op. Some kids might get a few tests, like taking pictures of bones in your body, or peeing in a special cup. Actually, I gotta go. I'll be right back. Six! Keep it clean. Your team wants to keep everything very clean for your surgery, including you. That's why they wear their hospital PJs, hats, and mask. It's all about keeping germs out and you safe. Who is this person? The doctor who would do your surgery is called a surgeon. Did you know that on your surgery day, a lot of doctors and nurses will be right there to take care of you, just like your parents? Got a question? Ask it, have a worry, share it. And if someone asks how you're doing, there is no wrong answer. Just say exactly how you feel. <laughs> Rock your PJs. The next part of getting ready is kind of like getting ready for bed. How cool is this? Wearing PJs during the day, you're going to look great in your hospital pajamas. Oh yeah, we're going the wrong way. Sorry, I got cut up in the moment a little. You guys rock. Anesthesia. Anesthesia is a big word that means special medicine that helps you sleep during surgery. Next, it's time to meet the ana anesthesi anesthesiologist. The anesthesiologist is the person who will give you medicine to help you sleep during surgery. The anesthesiologist will also stop the medicine when the surgery is done and it's time for you to wake up. All you have to do is breathe in. When it's time for surgery, you have plenty of time to say, See you later to your family. In fact, one of your parents may even be able to walk with you all the way to your surgery room, but they'll have to wear their PJs. Did you know your hospital bed has wheels? Your team will give you a ride down to the operating room. Keep an eye out for the magic doors. In the operating room, the nurse might put some stickers on your chest. A nurse will put a pulse oximeter on your finger. It's just like a bandage with a special red light attached. It's called a pulse ox for short, and it tells doctors and nurses how you're breathing while you're asleep. Your anesthesiologist will ask you to take 
deep breaths. Imagine you're blowing up a big balloon. Good job, you're asleep. Mommy, he's asleep. You can give him a kiss. You can bring your mask down and give him a kiss. The medicine you are breathing works so well, not even something like this can wake you up. And you won't feel anything during surgery either. Your family will be right nearby in the waiting room the whole time. It's wake up time! The next thing you know, you will be waking up in the recovery room after surgery. Yes, the recovery room. That means the surgery is done. The surgeon will talk to your mom and dad, and they will come back and stay with you in the recovery room until you go home. When you wake up, you might feel a little different. Some kids feel tired, sore, and your stomach might be a little upset. You'll probably have a mask on your face. This time it's just regular air to help you wake up. You also might have an IV on your arm or hand. An IV is a small straw connected to plastic tubing. An IV gives your body water and medicine to help you feel better. Your nurse will take it out before you go home and put a band-aid on it. Little by little, you'll start feeling more awake in the recovery room. Now's a good time to tell the nurse how you're feeling. Your nurse may show you a card with faces on it and you can just point and tell her which one shows how you feel. If you don't feel good, the nurse may be able to give you something to feel better. Hey, if you're awake and feeling okay, it must be time for number 10 in that special treat. 10! Did I hear someone say slushy? Usually after your surgery, you will get a treat. Sometimes it's a popsicle, juice, or a special drink. This time it's a delicious slushy. Yum, so refreshing. Oh, here you go. But take your time, your stomach is still waking up. After recovery, some kids will go straight home to rest in their own bed. Other kids will spend a night in another part of the hospital and rest until they are ready to go home. If you stay overnight, your parent can even sleep in your room with you. Now you know 10 of the most important facts about having surgery. If you have any questions, remember to ask a parent or a member of your surgery team. They are there to help. And now if you excuse me, it's time I have my slushy. It's like a snowstorm of fabulous favor. Oh no, brain freeze!